here we are on double wide blue trail mostly berms tables and a few gaps first sections all just really steep berms and then it levels out to a section with a few gaps and some rollers into a sort of combo section so let's take a look at this This next gap is one that I have not tried yet. Just a little too steep for my taste. Then after this berm, we'll hit three gaps in a row. And here's a shot of that upper berm section coming into double wide. And this is a good perspective, I think. We should have a rider coming by any minute. Kind of see how it tall these berms are and the steep factor you can see the bike there gives a little perspective i think this rider will help even more so come around the corner you can see pretty steep um, certainly nothing you can't handle with your brakes but something to keep in mind and you do need that speed if you're going to try and clear some of these doubles that come up next this first one with the rock you can see that's probably good 15 18 feet but it is pretty much a, a step down with an extremely soft knuckle so very manageable this first one you can actually overshoot this uh, if you get too much speed in that burn back there and then if you give it any sort of pull this would be an easy clean uh, the next two get a little bit harder momentum wise so that next one you can just kind of pull a little bit and then the one after that, which you'll see in the video, um, I do have to come across to the right side of the trail, give it a good pull to clean that before we get into the speed bump section before the hard right over the road. The road. And next up, we have the bit right after the speed bumps or the rollers that uh, takes a hard right and crosses this road to a really nice, slightly stepped down table here. Uh, the rock side gives you just the perfect lift, even if you're not going very fast, to clear this table. You can see the tables in a couple bike lengths. Really big lander. Lots of room to come up short without any trouble. And then you can send it pretty far, but you do have to mind your speed coming into this next corner. And then the rest of this winds around with a couple more berms and one table in a gap before we hit the trail split to catch the bottom half of double wide. And right up here is a, a trail option. We're gonna go right, and this is the rest of double wide. Again, more tight berms, and then a lot of variety at the bottom. And after the berms, and the rollers that come after the trail split. This is the first bit of stuff that really starts to get fun. You can see it's another step down style gap, but the, the knuckle is just so soft that you can send this halfway without any trouble and then just keep sending it and sending it. Uh, if you really wanna clean it, it's about 17, 18 feet from the rock over to backside of this knuckle. Uh, it does catch you, but you definitely have to come out of this berm with some conviction, give it a little pull. 
a really fun bit of trail though. And then it's followed up by two versions of a table, both of which feel really natural. And it just depends on how much speed you have. Okay, and here we are at the bottom section of double wide. This section is really fun because there's an awful lot of variety. So let's see what we can get here. And here we are right after crossing the road to that first rock ledge. And this one is just a lot of fun because it's only probably three feet from the beginning of the lander to the top. And there's no knuckle to contend with, no quick burn right after. You can send this as short or as long as you feel. And the takeoff's nice and flat with a little bit of a down slope. So it kind of pushes you off the edge. And this lander angle is pretty much ideal. It just catches you in a very predictable way. And then you can run down for that next small to medium-ish table. And now we're almost at the end of double wide. And there's one last set of features that I wanted to look at because I think it's probably one of the more challenging for me to hit consistently, but it is an awful lot of fun once you get it. Uh, you really have to come around that berm hard. And there's a pretty big step down here. And it's about the size of the rock step down we saw at the beginning of this area. Uh, what makes this tricky is once you land it, you have to come right into a left-hander and do the same thing again, although much shorter, off of a little bit of a shark fin shape in order to land clean into a, a soft berm for the last two jumps of this line. So again, this second one really is not difficult and it's not really even that big, but you do have to come off that first one just right in order to make a really quick lean left to get this one. So something to shoot for if this is new. Uh, if this isn't the kind of thing that you do often, I would definitely recommend rolling this uh, at slow speed, a little bit faster, a little bit faster until you feel like you really know how hard to pull to clean that first step down. But all in all, a lot of variety in this trail, uh, quite a bit of fun when you start hitting everything clean and um, really one of my favorites when it's dry and the dirt's in great shape like it is today. Not bad. Came up short on a couple of those, but decent run. <laughs> 